We'll talk about golf too, and you mentioned uh, a player that uh, in the past it was, or it's now Rory in the past, it was Tiger Woods. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tiger Woods is a doubt that he'd even take part. He slipped out of the top 100 for the first time since uh, 1996. He's now mm-hmm. rated 104th in the world. Is it over for him? You can never say never with Tiger. He's, he's one of those guys, he has the abundance of talent that that man has. He's changed, he's now on his fourth coach, in not in a, ver, in a very short space of time, quite a long space of time. You go Butch, then you go Hank Haney, you've had uh, Sean Foley and now he's on to Chris and he's changed a little bit. He's gone almost back to where he used to be and he, we talked the other day about not being able to find the bottom of his swing when it came to the short game. So there's a certain amount of change that he's making, coupled with the injuries that he's had, the operations that he's had, Tiger, I think, if he came back, the only thing that's obviously beaten him is the fact that he has he has the self-belief, but he has to put the ball in the cup on the golf course. His putting's left him because he's worked so much, possibly in his longer game, so the dedication to short game, the time hasn't been into it. But, Adrian, you can never count him out. I mean, will he dominate again? Maybe not to the extent that he did back in the early 2000s, but he'll never, ever be counted out of a tournament. He always has that ability to come back. You know, they say, never wake the sleeping tiger but he could be back at some stage. He carded an 82 at the Phoenix Open, which was the worst score ever as a professional. And then he said that he would take an indefinite break from the game. And he may or may not make the Masters. It's it's a, it's okay whenever you're at the top of the world, but whenever you fall, it is a spectacular fall from grace, mm-hmm. isn't it? And it's Absolutely. not done uh, quietly. It's done in the full glare of the public eye. That, that too is an issue. It definitely is. And he'll have a lot of, he's a good team around him. He has teams that will protect him. Um, his, his private life as his public life is just as much in the scope and it's as much everybody wants to sell papers and they sell it on the back of that. Tiger's an incredibly private man, he has been, and that's what made him probably so unpopular with players right the way through the years. He's a bit Faldo-esque where he didn't want anybody to get to know him really, really well. Um, and for that, that would it be to his detriment? I'm not really that sure because he has enough close friends, people that he depends on, people that he trusts, that will be there to massage, obviously, his very and quite possibly enlarged ego because he is dominant he did dominate for the world for so long the bank balance won't be affected that much but it's just a matter of him getting onto the golf course inside the ropes without those people to help him and can he take the next step that's the big question yeah amazing something like 683 weeks at the world number one a world record whatever 